operating systems in this lecture we will cover about what is operating system who, uh, who builds these operating systems what are the different companies of operating system and what type of operating systems jobs are out there so what is an operating system an operating system is the most important program that runs on your computer operating systems tells the hardware what to do it is the one that performs the basic tasks such as recognizing input from the keyboard sending output to the display screen keeping track of files and directories on the disk and controlling peripheral devices such as disks drives and printers think of operating system in a way as the comparison of a human body and the spirit the human body is the hardware it has no use it won't function until we have the spirit inside of it this is the one that tells us what to do we are the one sending signals to our fingers we are the one sending signals to our arms to move head to shift the same way operating system tells the hardware what to do when you are typing a document and then you go to file and click on print it sends the operating systems takes that command and sends it to the hardware and tell it to print it let's look at the few example of our operating system once we know a few examples then you will really know why it is so important to have an operating system for a hardware windows now most of you should know what Windows is when you turn on your laptop you will see Microsoft Windows and that is the operating system that is a piece of software that is installed on your hardware this operating system again tells your hardware what to do it sends the commands to all the other pieces of the hardware and it make them work together then we have Mac Mac is another operating system and it is by Apple most of the Mac devices are runs on the uh, on the Apple hardware as I mentioned earlier in the hardware at the hardware level that you cannot run any other operating system on the Mac hardware on the Apple hardware then another example of operating system is Linux now Linux has many many flavors and Linux is the most common one that is used nowadays at the enterprise level many companies use Linux as their primary operating system to run their applications why do they use Linux over Windows I'm sure you will find a lot of the articles online if you look it up but all I could tell you all I could summarize is Linux is a lot faster and it does not have GUI GUI is a graphical user interface I should not say does not have GUI people who do need GUI they could get GUI in Linux but then it defeats the purpose if someone needs a GUI they will go with Windows or Mac so having no graphical interface makes Linux operating system a lot faster then we have Unix Unix mostly run by Solaris which is owned by Oracle BSD HPUX and there are many different flavors of Unix Unix was the first operating system that came out followed by Linux now Linux came out of the Unix it has pretty much a lot of same commands that is still being used in Linux then ESXi ESXi is another operating system that is used by VMware VMware is a company that has the operating system called ESXi 
now you once you install this ESXi operating system on your hardware then you could have many virtualized machine on the same hardware meaning you could run many different operating system on one single piece of hardware so these are the basic examples of operating system and I'm sure you have read and heard a lot about them my favorite one is Linux because Linux has a lot a lot flex flexibility as compared to many other and it's open source you could make changes to it if you want to then an example of operating system in terms of gadgets we have iPhone or iPad these gadgets run an operating system called iOS iOS is an operating system is owned and manufactured and built by Apple same way Samsung many Samsung phone has an operating system that is called Android now Android is also built and being installed by Samsung these are these two last two examples of operating system are specific to the small gadgets many of our TVs our remote control our devices that we use on a daily basis have a very tiny operating system installed on it and some of them have iOS and some of them have Android and why do we need that operating system again if, if you want to have your hardware work for you you need an operating system on it let's take a example in a graphical way so if you notice right at the bottom circle you have hardware so hardware again is a piece of the hardware is a piece of brick it has CPU disk mouse printers and all that stuff so how do you control that hardware in order to control that hardware you need an operating system and that's where that pink circle comes in the pink circle is the one that actually tells the hardware what to do it has all the utilities it has all the tools and it controls your hardware and this topic we are covering everything about the system software and that system software is the operating system if you want to get into the operating system jobs you should know one of these operating system that I have just listed then on top of system software you see a layer of application software now application software and system software what's the difference I'll tell you that at the at the application lesson but for now think of this way you turn on your computer you the operating system boots up now you have the operating system running and you have your hardware running but now what's the purpose of this computer the only reason you turn on this computer is because you wanted to use some kind of applications on it and what are those applications to list a few one of the example of applications is a web browser perhaps you wanted to open a web browser you want to check your email or search the internet another one you want to use a calculator you want to use a calendar you want to paint you want to open up a paint application so there are many tons of tons of applications that sit on top of operating system and that's the primary reason we all use computers if you only have a hardware and you only have the com operating system then there's still no need for computers if it does not fulfill our requirement and our requirements are always being fulfilled by those applications then let's look at this picture where I, I have at the bottom is the hardware hardware is the one that talks to the operating system operating system gets this instructions for the applications and applications it lists again it's an example let's say Microsoft Word application is running now who is controlling that application who is typing the words in that application and that is the user that is you you type in into the word document or excel document or any notepad or any other document that you have depending on the operating system of course you type it in and that application which has that software captures that stro strokes from your keyboard 
and then once you're done it sends that to the operating system operating is either you tell it to save it or print it and then the operating system tells the hardware what to do and that's what the simple examples of operating system here we will talk about the operating system jobs and the titles there are system administrators system engineers web application administrators infrastructure engineers solution engineers and architects DevOps engineers, field engineers, product engineers, or Red Hat engineer, or Windows engineer, principal engineer, platform engineer, back end data center engineer. Now, these are the people who actually deal with operating systems. So, if you're looking for a job in operating system, these are the title you should search for. So, I hope this video benefits you, and best of luck.